Okay, so the auto save puts us back here. I'm gonna have to do some, redo some parts. I'm gonna have to redo a little bit. Or I could switch to Brock. Let's go meet that hacker. Closed. Darn. Forbidden access. Forbidden access. I should have guessed. Going. It's here. There's a hefty guy in front of the entrance, which confirms this is the right place. Are you sure? He seems like a cop. Only one way to find out. Look, the pipe pill! Holy cow! What's going to happen to everyone in the slums if this keeps going on? One problem at a time. And our final scores. Uh, I would have gotten a different ending if I got two more points. I would have had a different ending. Pipes. No, Graf. Your future won't consist in gathering rubbish. I wish. Um, hello. Kids, what you doing here? The street's not safe. Enter quick. Um, psst. better not upset him. What? H who's that? Kids, to hide here. Are you insane? Yesterday, the croc. Now, this? Ah, uh, don't make me reconsider hiring you back. Oh, but... Actually, we came to see you. You're a hacker, right? I prefer the term skilled programmer bypassing securities. That's too long of a job title. Need to shorten it. Wait, how do you know? Doesn't matter. I need your help. Ha! <laughs> and you brought your pocket money, eh? I seriously doubt this will suffice, kiddos. Go away! You're wasting my precious time. No. No? Listen, we're clients, right in front of you. What kind of businessman would ignore an easy sale? <sighs> okay, okay. Go ahead and tell me all about your lost cuddly toy. Ah. Desperate times call for desperate measures. This is what you're looking for, isn't it? My own invoice? Oh, I knew kids' IQs were lowering, but I didn't know it was that much. Well, it confirms that he's that he is the owner. Tell me more about the croc from yesterday. Yeah, there are six secret words in our data world, boy. Confidentiality. That's... Okay, that is... That's not six. That's just one... W this is a deal between my client and me. No one else. You don't understand! He's my... my... Tutor! Yeah. He can be the Pope for all I care. You won't get anything from me. <laughs> Stupid squealer. What did you just say? I'm not one of those dirty rats. I'm a mouse. You should know that by your age. Okay, okay. Sorry. Jeez. <sighs> Kids nowadays. 
What a disrespectful bunch. So? You'll keep bothering me with this, huh? Don't stay around him. That guy is shady. Says the even shadier hacker. He claimed to be a policeman. This doesn't make any sense considering his record. What do you mean? I've already said too much. Tell me more. One thousand unis, or my mouth is shut. What? Forget it. I need you to hack into the Consciousness Center's data frame. I see. You posted some naughty pics and they caught you, huh? Really? No, I just... I need to pass my exam. I had great results. I should have passed if not for... Uh... For what? I thought you wouldn't ask questions. You expect me to do a clean job, don't you? My old man is a drummer, which is forbidden. Hmm. Well, just make sure I pass. Huh. Well, there are quite a few firewalls and other securities there, but... That's feasible. For 100,000 unis. What? 100,000? I warned you. That's the price for a quality job. Hmm. He's a crook. Hey, I'm doing a risky job. Come on, Graf, let's find another way. What other way? We've explored the possibilities. There's no other solution. But how are you going to get that kind of money before tonight? <clears throat> Let me think. Don't take all day. I hate flies buzzing around me while I'm working. <clears throat> I have the money. What? Take a look at this. Hmm. This account was opened by my mother. There's more than a hundred thousand unis on it. She's dead now, so this means... I'll have access to this money in a few days when I turn 16. How come? I just found out about this myself. Interesting. I guarantee you, you will get the money in a few days. Don't! This must be money your mom saved for you! You, you can't! Then, what's the purpose of it? Wouldn't she want me to use it to ensure a better future for myself? Mm. I... I don't know, but... It's decided. Give me your hand, boy. Hmm... So... You are... Graf Filch, aged 15. Birthday in... Three days. Looks like you're telling the truth. Alright, deal. Come back in three days and we shall sort this out. No, you don't understand. The data will be transmitted tonight. You need to hack the server now. And do credit for you. Nah, no way. This is a matter of life and death. Exactly. For me as well. Listen, do you really want to pass on the opportunity to win 100,000 unis? Hmm. All right. With your prince, I should be able to plan a wire transfer right now. I'll reroute it to a few of my cryptocurrencies for safety reasons. Safety. Uh-huh. Safety. Yeah. All right. But I warn you, this won't be cancelable. Do it! Graf. Hmm. Hmm. And done. Just one thing. Keep in mind, I'll be watching over you, boy. If you dare double-cross me, I have the means to ruin your life. Oh, don't worry. It already is. Now, give me some space. I need to focus. Come on, Ott. Hmm. I can't believe it. What's wrong with you? 100,000 units? Even in the slums, you could have lived like a lord for years with that kind of money. Sorry, Ott. I... I can't stay here. Hmm. Okay, it's your decision after all. I'm not saying it's bad. Just... Maybe you should have thought a little more about it before rushing straight ahead. Well, what else was done. there? 
that, boys. What did I say? Leave the heck out of my place. <sighs> you better deliver. Hmm. Guys, about the dough I owe you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got something for you that should make up for it. I just require your help with something first. What now? Hmm. I was thinking about the Toxout pill shortage. Even if we get to live under the dome, we can't just leave all the slums people without any solution, can we? I agree. I've already asked Brock to investigate, but... Good idea! He's a great detective! Uncle Wes is also on the case. Still, we should give it a go ourselves as well. It's too important. Okay, let's try. This might be dangerous. Yeah... Hmm... Listen... Don't ask how, but... I've got an app on my phone to track my old man. You do? If anything happens to me, go fetch Brock, okay? I hope I won't have to, but... You've got my word. Where are your parents? We've got something important to do ourselves. Uh... Do I scare you? Kinda. Sorry, Mommy made me like this. Big arms. Useful for working here. I bet. Stick around. If bad guy comes, I beat up. Thank you, mister. Wait, what's going on exactly? Squealers. Causing havoc. Pipe pills plundered. I had a feeling they were responsible for this. Where are they? <coughs> Backstreet. Wandering. I see. No choice. We gotta go take a look. Are you sure about this? <sighs> we'll just take a look-see. Just to confirm. After that, we call the cops. Okay. Lead the way. I should stop complaining and focus. All right, I need to save. I could save. That's an ending. I gotta fight again. At least this time I know what to do. Kids, wait! Where are you going? <coughs> no, boss, say not move. What a nice surprise. We didn't even have to look. You just came straight at us. <laughs> Raph, what do we do? All right, I do want to see what the other options are. What if I talk? What do you want? You. Uh, why? The boss will tell you. Come. No way. Not giving you a choice. Oh! Graf! Let me go! Or else... Else what? I... I'll call my uncle! He's a cop! Shouldn't have said that. Can I, Kins? Can I? Help yourself. Ah! I wanted to fight him. Alright. I'm gonna... <sighs> it's here! Quick! Open it! Sure. Uh, uh, what? Let me think. No, where did I put this key? A key? Like an actual key? Uh, this bunker was built a long time ago during... Forget the history lesson. They're coming. We don't have much time. Oh, there it is. Give me that. Uh, what's that? There seems to be another mechanism in there. Doc? You've got to be kidding me! I... I have to repair this one. It's my job. But how do I open this portal? I won't be of any help. It's my first time here. Really? Oh, great. He'll be on to us in a minute. One of us has got to hold them back, while the other figures this out. Uh... Uh... Hey. D. <laughs> Think you're up to giving me some time? That never popped up before. I can try, but... I guess because I beat the game? Thanks. 
I thought you'd be the fighting type. No time to argue. Let's do this. Here they come. I give up. You can't. <sighs> I don't get it. Press everything. Ain't got the time to think. <laughs> Need to turn all the lights green. Each button activate. Thanks. Top left, the bottom right. One, three. What is up with these bots? Wish I knew. Let's survive. Then we'll figure this out. Oh my gosh, she's getting whooped. Another? You did it! I did? Uh, which way? I, I like, look, I just pressed buttons. Let's split. You take the left. I'll go with the doctor. But, but, uh, Mr. Brock is... Hurry! They're here! The door locked itself. Why did she insist on going the other way? I hope Dr. Gherkin is safe with her. There you are. Uh, what the heck are you doing? Interrogating. She, she hooked me there. Are you nuts? You think it's the right time for this? This guy is hiding something. What about you? I thought I had come clean. No, you didn't. I wasn't finished when all those bots landed on us. Fine. I'll tell you everything, as long as you don't get in my way to interrogate him. I uh, can't promise that. Then we'll have to settle this once and for all. A fight? No thanks. I've had enough brawling for the day. Should I remind you we're surrounded by bots who want us dead? Let's save our strength for them. <sighs> I guess you're right. And talking about that, man, those things are everywhere and relentless. I'm scared. Can someone untie me? Not yet. B but? Are you suspecting the doctor to be the cause of the robot's havoc? Uh, it's a possibility. He's involved in a lot of things. That can't be right. I've got nothing to do with this, I swear. If he unleashed them, why risk his own life by getting through the slums? What would he gain from this? I don't have all the info yet, but I have the means to find out. Well, I'm not sure. Hmm. Something's off. What do you mean? I'd like to test something. Can you open the door to these bots? Probably. Why? I'll stay hidden. Release one. Are you mad? You realize they may all come at us when I open this door. Trust me. Very well. I'll try. Just one. Uh, hello. How may I serve you? What? That one seems nice. Hmm. Bring it closer to Dr. Gherkin. D don't Go ahead, bot. To that man in front of you. Oh no! Hello! Uh, I'm not sure what you were expecting. Now, what happens if... Target acquired. Huh? It's gone crazy. I'll handle this. Yeah. Just as I thought. They're not after the scientist. They're after me. Good heavens! Wait a minute. We're in this disastrous situation because of you? For crying out loud, what have you done? No idea. Honest. Though, uh, I guess I destroyed a lot of their friends recently. 
Well, that was self-defense. That wouldn't lead the entire Tribots to go after you. Those things don't have a mind of their own. Someone must want you dead. And that wouldn't be such a bad option to get away from here. Oh, stop that. I'll figure out what's happening. But I need both of you to start pouring it out. First, Doctor. They are after him. Stay away! You're the one attracting them! Come on, be reasonable. I'm safer without you around. Uh, guess I'll leave you alone with that girl then. <sighs> don't! Oh boy, I'm screwed either way. Doc. Now that you understand the your situation. Attacking you. Why did you call me? I I had no idea. But now it's all making sense. This morning, I was alone at the factory. Alone? Yes. The production process is automated, and no human operators. Yeah, actually, the pill shortage is the only reason I went to the factory today. I was starting to understand what was wrong, when suddenly. A massive number of bots rushed out of the factory, hitting me in the process. I concluded they went crazy. <coughs> Got frightened, ran outside to the entry box, and... You know the rest. And... You never thought leaving all the work to a bunch of metallic boxes would be a bad idea? No! The production has been working well for years! This is all very strange! These bots were programmed for one specific task at the factory. They shouldn't attack people. No offense, Doc, but I don't trust all those programs. By the way, how come you have access to this bunker? After all, you're a stranger to the slums. Mm. Well, well, hey, 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 hey! He's fainted. What's your problem? He wasn't going to tell you the truth. But you will? This time, yes. Fine. I'm all ears. As a member of the government, he has the keys to the city. I guessed. I was merely trying to get him to admit it. Anyway, I need a break. Let me check this room. Don't waste your time. Doesn't seem very practical to watch the latest Skyball match. Isn't this a view of the bunker entrance? Uh oh! Oh! Like, <laughs> let's go. I've been in an awful lot of messed up situations in the past, but this is the, oh, the cherry on the cake. And we're the cherry. I don't get it. Why are these things so keen to have my skin? Huh. If my eyes aren't deceiving me, there's some food inside. Ah, but I can't reach it. I don't get it. There's a control panel I'm trying to click. The way is blocked. If my ah, uh, but I can't go there. What's doing? Oh, he's out cold. That girl is crazy. Hey. Yeah. Did I you are. Out loud? You are. You hit the dang button. Who? I have food item. Message. <laughs> it just says talk to me. Uh, tempting, but for once. I'm mighty afraid of the consequences if I did that. 
We can take that on, but... Alright. You're done? We're stuck here. I told you, but we'll have to escape somehow. One thing at a time. Tell me about yourself. From the start, please. Uh, as you know, I'm a journalist. When I started this career, it was more than a job to me. This was a way to uncover the truth and make a difference in this apathetic world we live in. Okay. And that's why I got sick of writing articles like how to prepare the best worm cake or this year's best liveies. So I spent months working on another investigation undercover. Don't you have a family to take care of? Yes, but a journalist always finds time for important matters. Right. I forgot you drummers barely work four hours a day. What a stereotype. Ever since I was a kid, I've noticed things changing. Drummers became less Drummers. They lived in their own bubble. Is that really new? To this extent, yes. I investigated the evolution of every activity of our society. And I made some important discoveries. I was about to make them public through my media when the trouble began. You know, there's one thing even more important to me than my career. Yourself? No, my family. My colleagues found some videos of Sin cheating on me with another girl. This set off something inside me. He betrayed me. He betrayed our daughter. My colleagues acted nice and understanding in front of me, but behind my back, they laughed. I couldn't bear it. I got mad. I quit my job. Thus, I lost access to the best way to spread information. I can see where this is leading. Sin and I argued. He said it was all lies. I didn't listen, didn't believe him. Why would I? Had a video. Hard to believe. It's hard to believe anything else. Evidence right in front of you. There was tangible proof. That video seemed so real. But he insisted. And if he wouldn't admit to it and apologize. You threatened to start an expel procedure. Yes. But he ended up leaving by himself. Despite this, I had no intention to give up on my investigation. So I reached other media. They refused my story, each and every one of them. This didn't make sense. Why would other news corporations turn down exclusive breaking information? Without proof, this is only a suspicion. But logic meant they're all facades. You said it earlier. All information in the drums is controlled by a single entity, right? Yes. This theory got even more weight when I found out that all my findings vanished. The local data stored in my DNA, all my backups. Local data stored in your DNA? I, uh, expound on that, please? Even the original sources and everything linked to them. All gone. It was as if I had imagined it all. My friends started to think I was losing it. They were even ready to send me to a mental hospital. Yeah, well... Shut up! It's not a laughing matter! My friends took my daughter from me. Oof. They didn't believe me. I had lost everything. Uh, they can do that? My job, my family, my friends, and my mind. But the tides of misfortune finally turned. I always carry a memory chip hidden in my clothes. During one of my investigations, it broke and stopped connecting. This made me think. What if all my backups were simply erased when I accessed the Triweb? But I still couldn't check the data on that chip without risking it to be flagged as unsupported and erased. So, I came to the slums and brought the chip to that person called the Gloom. Ha. Huh. What will we do without that darn mouse? This was my last hope. My last chance to prove I wasn't just crazy. And the data is there, only part of my findings, but enough to validate all my theories. Now I realize how much of a fool I've been. All this was a distraction. The videos were fake, very elaborate ones and undetectable to the human eye. 
They destroyed my life for one single reason. You got too close to the truth. To prevent me from revealing the truth. But who? What truth? Uh... Our friend is waking up. Good timing. Oh, I feel bad. Please, release me. Not until you confess. Admit it, you're a member of the government. I... I have no idea what you're talking about. Hit that button. Fine. Maybe another press of that button shall shake your... Don't. Memory. No! Stop that. I'll take it from here. No, you won't. Trust me. You won't gain anything with constant threats. Fine. Have it your way, cowboy. Let me gather the pieces of that puzzle. Doc, I can tell that something's bothering you. And this isn't a comfortable situation, but... I need you to trust me. Um, oh, okay. First, let's talk about this morning. Go. No. What did you do exactly with the pipe pills? I tried fixing them. You tried, but failed? Um... He's right. I've checked myself. After your visit, the pipe pills still weren't working. True. Actually, I'm not entirely sure why. Pray tell. Back at the factory, I noticed the pills stopped being sent to the slums due to missing signatures. Signature? Each pipe pill has to validate its authenticity in order to work. Why? Otherwise, anyone could reroute the pipes to get unauthorized medicine. Somehow, all the signatures in the slums vanished. Probably due to external damage. So, I attempted to input the signature back into each one. Stupid. Why not apply the change to all pipe pills at once? I think it's compli more complicated than... No. It's set in the hardware. Direct contact is required. Okay, then. Uh, we should split the work. That'd be faster. Impossible. Ah, uh, Simple ideas are always impossible for you tech guys. Why, then? Don't tell me you're the only person in this country who can do it. Precisely. What? The signature is kept secret. That's the whole point. You've got to be kidding me. What if something happens to you? Why do you think I hired you? Oh. Wait. If that's true, then... It gives some credit to something we suspected. That has nothing to do with this case. Quite an important person, Dr. Gherkin, aren't you? Of course, I direct the factory. No, much more important than that. How exactly did you learn the pipe pill signature? Mm, it's confidential. Confidential as and you work for the government because that's the only thing that would be confidential. I've had enough. Let me press that button. No. No, you can't press the button. Ah! Okay, do it. What? Why am I the only voice of reason here? No, 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 please! Oh, you win. Yes, I am a member of the government. The signature is kept secret between our members. The others? What are the other members? Then? Finally! Now, tell us everything. 
I don't know where to start. Start with the number. How many are you? The answer is obvious. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I believe I've always known, thanks to this. No. The triangle. <laughs> I mean, it was... <laughs> there are three members. Yes, but I do not know the others. No. So, who are the other two? Liar! I swear, this was part of the original deal. We're supposed to make the decisions separately. This was the only way to ensure we wouldn't be influenced one way or another. Ugh, typical well-meaning behavior from the elite who don't know crap about how the world runs. I can see how it was meant to work. I can see how easily it got corrupted. That I have to agree with. Th there's no perfect governing system. It's a complex thing. Let's focus on the matter at hand. Uh, I can see the link, but that doesn't bring anything new. There must be a link. It's not clear enough yet. Oh my... I'm starting to... You've said the Tribots changed behavior this morning. And that same morning, I got attacked by Tribots in my own home. Did you notice anything before they left the factory? Before? Now that you mention it, they received a firmware update. An update? Who manages those? There are dedicated labs of engineers working on all the AI improvements. Yeah, I believe I met two of these guys yesterday. But do they send the updates themselves? No, the decision to send a firmware update to production lies in the hands of the government. Is that so? There must be a link. It's not clear enough yet. I can see the... Earlier, you said the government... That, that, was, a, that was a guess out of nowhere. And you're part of it. It's you! You decided to make the Tribots come after me. N no I didn't! You better give me some convincing arguments, Doc. I bet it's a two out of three rule. I... I don't know. This shouldn't be possible. You see, each decision we take follows the same process. When a new question arises, it comes with neutral elements to help us make our decision. Neutral? Right. We are three members, however, approval from all three is required for a decision to pass. On the other hand, one member's disapproval is enough to block a process. I'm an engineer. I can read the code. I would never have agreed to this. And if I had known you were responsible for the bots going crazy... Hey, I'm the victim here. Why would I voluntarily put my life in danger? He has a point. Even if the bots don't attack him, he's still taking a risk of getting hit or run over accidentally in that chaos. In that case... One of the other two Triangle members decided to destroy you. Maybe even both. Dang, who... The other two? That's just... great. My future keeps getting brighter. At least you know the threat. We'll find a way to end this. As long as I'm still in one piece afterwards. 
No problem with that. The Tribots aren't equipped with giant scissors. Yet. Yeah. Not funny. Only one good aspect about this. Tribots won't harm Graf. Even the chief of police couldn't keep me in jail. I'm no criminal. You know, you... Uh, there's so much wrong with that. He let you out and came after you like the next day. Essentially, you were about to be arrested if you didn't agree. Enough. I must find out what this guy knows about my situation. I was getting to it. This, um, lady here suspects her investigations led her to become a black sheep for news publishing. Incidentally, she also believes all the medias are controlled by the government. Is she right? Well, yes, to an extent. We only make decisions for important me- What have you done? You dirty- Wait, I did nothing wrong. Nothing wrong? You ruined my life. Ugh. Calm down. I never made any decision about yourself. I'd remember you, and I'd have never accepted meeting you. I agree. I too would have stayed far away. Shut up. Then who? It could be someone else from the Triangle. <laughs> How convenient. Mr. I make big decisions is actually not responsible for anything. Please! I've always wanted to help, to do my best. I believe you. Ha! I'll prove you wrong. Let's continue. That's not much info, but we're on to something. noticed. Both of us have been targeted by a member of the Triangle. If we want to solve this, we'd better cooperate. Hmm. Maybe it's time to shed some light on your investigation. What exactly was it about? This could help us understand what's happening. Fair enough. For years I've witnessed many dysfunctional aspects of our society. And now that I've learned how exactly we're being governed, I'm not surprised. Anyway, the most worrying matter concerns the fate of prisoners in the slums. Over the last few months, every single prisoner accused has been sentenced to death. All of them? I double-checked my sources. No accused prisoner ever gave any sign of life after being put to jail. Doesn't matter if it's high security prison or just custody. The result is the same. They just disappear from the surface of Earth. Moreover, this was accompanied by a dramatic increase of the number of bodies incinerated or recycled during the same time span. The heck? So, it's not very difficult to understand what happened to them. Th that can't be. Care to say anything, Doc? <laughs> Once again, Doc. I know what you're going to say, so I'll cut it short. Yes, the Triangle has a judiciary power over prisoners' outcome. After each investigation, we're being sent all the required information to take the final decision. Of life and death? Yes, but what she says cannot be true. I've got proof. Explain yourself. 
I've pretty much always voted no. And one disapproval should be enough to prevent a death penalty. I've said it earlier. But how can you be so sure? Have you ever left your desk to check the consequences of your decisions? Obviously not. Not exactly. Wait a minute. All prisoners are sentenced to death? Yes. They're being put to death two days after being incarcerated. Oh, crap. Two days? If this is true, this means... What? What's going on? Spit it. D. Remember that your husband hired me for an investigation? This, uh, didn't turn out well. Which means? He's in jail at the police department. No. How long? A couple of days ago. I gotta leave. Now! You can't. There are hundreds surrounding us. You have attacked some of them. They'll crush you regardless. I have to take my chance. And what will you do when you get there? The guards will never let you reach him, let alone escape. Besides, I'm also responsible for this. I could have got him out. I know the place. I'll help you. I hope I won't regret this. First, we need a way out of here. I'm on it. What about me? Use your brain. Anything that can help. Oh, I thought you'd get me out. <laughs> You're okay? I'd be much better if you would release me. We'll untie you before leaving. Promise. Found anything? Not much, I'm afraid. Don't worry. I'm on it. Thanks. She's clearly troubled. Better handle it myself. I don't get it. Looks like some wires. There might be something behind that piece of furniture. Gonna have to open that door. Hey, aren't you forgetting something? I gotta check this room. Good idea. But not like this. Hide. Let me disable the bots first. Alright. Go ahead. There. It's safe. Thanks. I owe you one. Find a way out. That's all that matters. I'll move this. Aha! Uh -huh. Hmm. Doc, I need your help. Any idea what's over here? Hmm. I can't see very well from here. What does it look like? A bunch of egg shaped thingies. This must be a control panel for the bunker equipment. What kind of equipment? The light, the fridge, the shield. Shield? Of course. This is a bunker. It's meant to protect from external threats. We have an external threat. Oh? Oh! Let's use this to get rid of them. Uh, I'm afraid that's not possible. As it is, the shield will only prevent the bots from coming in. Not good enough. We need a way to immobilize or damage them. Ah, uh, this will require some more thought. Wait, what are you doing? Gonna cut some wires to try. Whoa, no way. I forbid you to touch that. Hey, you're not my mom. We gotta try something. Go on. Try, and I'll make you eat my bludgeon. Ugh, you're no fun. Yeah, you're no fun. I, in this regard, you're no fun. Ah, uh, it's locked.
Wait! I thought you didn't want to go out. Do we really stand a chance against all those bots? Right. <sighs> this is suicide. I mean, I could fight him. <laughs> oh, how are we ever going to pass through this? Wait, I thought you didn't. Do we really? St right. What else we got? Hey, Doc. Think you can use that control panel? I can't be sure. I would need to go over there to check. Is that a trick to release you? Please! Come on. Let's untie him, D. He could be useful. <sighs> Alright. But no escaping. With all these bots waiting for us? I'm not crazy! Why build a bunker with this kind of torture device? Maybe it wasn't a... Maybe it wasn't a bunker. Maybe it was a torture room. Or somebody's fetish. So... Have you ever wondered why these panels have this particular shape? No, but I'm afraid you're gonna tell me. The egg is a scientific symbol for loops. The energy flows in and out of those receptacles, creating a loop. Okay. And huh. how does this help? I've made some changes. Already? I've reverted the polarities of the non-zero component in order to transform the charge. Which means... The shield should now generate energy surrounding the portal. I'll try it. Can you check if it's having any effect? Sure. One, two, three. I've seen a blue light surrounding the portal. That's all? What about the bots? Nothing. Darn! I'm afraid this won't work. Hey, it's a good start. Uh-oh. I've been in the chair. And we... What if I... That thing generates a power shock. I wonder where this power comes from. It doesn't seem very practical, though. Uh... It's over. We'll be stuck here forever. No way. I'll fight my way through if I need to. What's wrong with your idea? I was convinced I could generate a small power field. Enough to hit the power container next to the portal. That pyramid-shaped thing? Yes. It would create a closed circuit, which could then generate a big shockwave. Interesting. Man, that is a crazy good idea. Let's do this. I've tried. You've seen it. The field is too short to reach the power container. Surely there's a way to improve it. With the right material, yes. But here? What do you need, exactly? I don't know. Maybe a power generator? I'll get you that. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Whoops. It... Uh, accidentally broke. An accident, huh? Well, uh... Better take this food before it expires. Thing generates a I have anything can't go there that thing generates a You destroyed this with your bare hands? 
Gotta investigate, ma'am. Uh, what's this doodah? Seems interesting. I should take it. It's over. No way. What's wrong with your... I was con... Hey, Doc. Would this doodah help? Doodah. Huh? Well, where did you find this? The switch that, uh, <laughs> shocked you. I believe that's what powered it. It's... perfect! Really? Cool. So, this will work? Oh, very unlikely. But you said... We'll try. I'll connect the wires. This will take a while. Okay. I'll leave you to it. You okay? When I didn't see him at his apartment, I just figured he left. I could never imagine. Relax. We'll save him. How can you say that? It may already be too late. We will. I'd never met someone like you before. You're certainly right. I'm not the kind of person who would stay home all day to make and raise children. I don't care if we're the last of our kind. Society needs us. Society won't decide for me. But you still have a daughter. Yes. I miss her. I miss Sin. What about you? I had a wife. For a brief moment, she passed away. Oh, sorry. And a son, who isn't really my son. He doesn't like me. That's a lie. What? He loves you, I'm certain of it. How would you know? You've never met him. I know you. Yeah, we've only just met, but I feel that I can trust you. <laughs> uh, an hour ago, you were ready to slay me. Just fooling with you. You don't get girl humor, do you? No. No, I don't. <laughs> joke. Right. <laughs> hmm. Um, something on my face? You know, if the situation was different, Mr. Brock! It's done! Can you check the entrance view? Alright. One, two, three. <laughs> nice! Holy moly! It worked! For real? Yeah! All bots wiped out. Finally, not a second to spare. Come on, Brock. Hey, don't forget me! D, don't tell me. I'm stuck inside. Don't worry, it's a bunker. There are plenty of supplies. Not really, I kind of just took them all. But, but... Another crazy idea of yours? I'm not finished with him. We'll come back for you right after. Oh, this nightmare will never end. <sighs> okay. At least he's safe there. Let's go. Wait, what's your plan? Simple. I go in, kick those bots' asses, and come back with my man. Nice. It's a police department. There are dozens of bots in there. There must be a better way. Okay, tell me. We should infiltrate the place. I can't trust Wes. It'd be much less risky. Fewer tin cans to wreck. Hmm. Are you certain there's a way to enter the jail discreetly? Yes. The main entrance. Is that a joke? Those bots are stupid. We can enter from the main entrance and distract them. I'll go first. Follow me. All right. Just be careful, okay? Hey, 
I can defend myself if anything goes wrong. Right. Off we go. Uh, what about Sin? Who can only throw glass? Make sure I'm doing the right thing. I should save. That was a long bit, too. Make sure. It works! Quick, let's go! Oh! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Sin! Sin! Where is he? Uh, are we too late? No! Oh, no! No! This can't be happening. I couldn't even tell him. Uh, maybe there's still a call? Hey, man. Sorry to call you, but I couldn't think of anyone else. No, 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 don't. <gasps> Sin! I... I thought you were... D, is that you? I believe you now. I'm so sorry. I am too. Wait, where are you? This looks like... How did you get out of jail? The chief of police. What? Huh? He said I was free to go. What? D. I... Don't say anything. Our daughter is waiting for you at home. My... Friends are taking care of her. Please get her back. But, are you sure? Where are you? I'll help you come back safely. <coughs> I'm hiding in my apartment. What's left of it? You're okay? I couldn't get a pill today. <coughs> oh no. And I got some other trouble myself. Bots? Yeah. I managed to outrun them, but this was close. Oh. Oh my... So I'm not the only one they're targeting. What's going on? I'll explain on the road. Stay where you are, dear. Oh no. All right. He's not out of hot water yet. Have you? Gotta go. Wait, aren't you forgetting someone? We promised Dr. Gherkin we would come back. we Will do, as soon as my man is safe back at home. What? Can you explain your presence here? And who is your charming friend? Let me guess, the chief of police? Uh, we've come to free Sin. She's a journalist and Sin is... I see. We didn't have a choice. He was in danger. <sighs> Thus, I'm not the only one suspecting something fishy. Am I right? Huh? You... you knew? Complications seem to accumulate these days. No need to worry. I will handle this. Really? This country has seen many stressful periods over the years. No! This is different! Our judicial system has gone very wrong. Criminals are systematically murdered! Huh. <laughs> and why should I believe you? I'm a journalist. I have proof. I've spent the last few months gathering information. Proof? We should share our information. But not here. Let's meet at the ancient garbage disposal center. In one hour. Huh? You sure? No one ever goes there. All the more reason. It's an open area. We wouldn't be spied on without knowing it. Mm -hmm. Fine, let's meet there. And Brock? Thank you. I owe you one. Mm hmm. Well... See ya. Bork? That's insulting, you know. I wish you'd stop calling me that. It's not your name. What? Whatever. 
We've had our differences in the past, but today, we need to cooperate. There's a much bigger threat going on in this country. Yeah, no problem, old man. Later. And I'm counting on you. Okay. Ah, uh, my head! Oh no! I'm tied up! I don't like this. My rope is a bit loose. With some efforts, I can move! Oh dang, I got nothing. Alright. Save here. That'll be that. <laughs> this is a good stopping point. <laughs> 